In this video, we will show you how to install Windows Server 2022 on VirtualBox. First, you need to download which you like. You can using the ISO files or VHD files. The ISO files is half smaller size. You can see here is approximately 4 gigabytes and for the VHD files approximately 9 gigabytes. Each version have advantage or disadvantage. Using VHD files is faster when you install the Windows because you don't need advanced configuration. If you are using ISO files, it's like you install the Windows Server 2022 for the first time. Okay, let's open our virtual box and you can get the VHD version or the ISO versions. We put link in pinned comments so you can check on pinned comments. In here, you need to create new virtual machine. For example, Windows 2022 and for version, you need to select Windows 2022. If you then have the option in here, you can download the newest virtual box. In here, just click next. Okay, let's adjust the memory. I give seven gigabytes and processor the half okay and then click next and in here we will using the VSD version okay so we can just use an existing virtual hard disk files and we can point into our VSD files this VSD version is official by microsoft so you don't worry if this is uh, not official files you can just click next in here and you can click finish in here we can click start or you can check the settings once again and make sure all the configuration is optimum okay we can click start after that i'm using virtual box 7 version in here 7.0.6 using vhd version is faster to install on virtual box virtual machine because there is have pre-installed module not like the iso files you need using uh, first time until uh, it finish with manually in here you can select your country and prefer language for the app and the keyboard layout i just select the default and click next this is need uh, some time to applying the settings so you need to be with until the next step this is for the license terms you can just click a save and the password is required you can try to click finish because this is windows server you can see there is must a password here okay i type again the password okay require complex password so we can try to a b c d one two three four and a b c d one two three four and click finish it's finalized the settings so it's that easy if you are using the vsd 
OK version rather than using the ISO version. Your Windows Server will launch the desktop. OK, you need to be with here. Applying the computer settings. OK, if you are using the ISO files, we will show you also using ISO files mean you need to step by step like you install the fresh windows. So uh, using the VHD version is the faster step if you just install the Windows Server on VirtualBox. But if you are install Windows Server 2022 in the real or physic devices, you need to using ISO files type. You need to press Ctrl L plus Del to unlock. I'm sorry. You can using input keyboard and insert insert Ctrl L plus Del. In here, we need to wait until it's open the desktop and the password. And setting up the personalize and setting up for personalized settings. And in here, you successfully install Windows Server 2022 using VHD version. And in here, we will show you how to install Windows Server 2022 if you are using the ISO version. Okay, and this is the application in Windows Server 2022. So I will just close this and I will delete this version. Okay, and I will create a new one Windows Server using ISO. Okay, and I select Windows 2022 and click next. I will set this memory and the processor is the same and you need to create a virtual hard disk so I select just 55 gigabytes and click next if you are using VSD you know you select this because we are using ISO files we select create a virtual hard disk now and click next and click finish in here, you need to click settings and point into storage on your empathy, select the ISO file of your Windows Server. This is the ISO files. The link on pinned comments It's from Microsoft sites, so don't be worried. Our processor and memory is the same. So you need to click OK and you need to click Start. The process almost the same, but using ISO files, you need to create a virtual hard disk when you set up the virtual machine. And the process is not the same. You need to install the Windows Server, like install fresh Windows, of course. Then you done. You can install the Windows Server 2022 using the ISO version or the VHD version. Hope this will be helpful for you.